Hi, I'm Zephyr, and today I am tremendously grateful for my friends and the people close to me. So I want to talk about cooking today, cooking outside. Now I've got a variety of tools and ingredients. I've got my kitchenware here, and I'm going to talk about cooking on a fire. But first, some other options. So this right here is a camp stove. Uh, fuel canister, and this is where the flame comes out. I'm gonna light it real quick. So this thing burns extremely hot, but at the end of the day, it's really only good for one thing, which is making as much heat as possible as quickly as possible. Which means if you're just trying to boil water, great. This is great for backpacking, things like that. But if you want to actually cook, for instance, if I wanted to cook these eggs, I would be out of luck. I'd get burnt and uncooked layers. Maybe I could do a scramble. Yeah, I'm not saying it's impossible to do, but for my money, I prefer not to use these for actual proper cooking. They're best for boiling water, which is great if you're making something like couscous. Couscous is one of my absolute favorite backpacking foods. It packs light, it is pretty calorie dense, especially if you add something like olive oil to it. And it cooks really quickly. All you need to do is boil water, put the couscous in, let it sit for a minute. Wonderful. So that's great. But I also want to cook some eggs. I'm going to fry up some eggs and uh, I'm going to cook up some tomatoes. I'm going to put all that on top of my couscous. But first, we need a fire that's better suited to the job. Right now, this fire is hot, but what we really need is coals. So I've put a lot of hardwood on there, along with some softwoods, because softwood is most of what's around me. But the hardwood is really what creates those great coals. Softwood burns quickly and hot and fast, and then it's gone. Hardwoods burn long and slow, and they create nice, hot coals that you can work with. So right now, I'm gonna let it wait a minute to create some nice hot coals for the job. And while I wait, I'm gonna make some tea. So for that, I'm gonna use my pot here on my camp stove. And let it boil. rolling boil. I'm going to turn off my stove here, let that cool down, and pour it into my nice chamomile tea with CBD. There we go. Made just the right amount of water, what do you know? You see, when I think about bushcraft, I think about wildness. And when I think about wildness, I don't think about roughing it. I think about making myself as comfortable as I can while being a part of the world around me. Right now, that's what I'm trying to do. Nice cozy fire, a loving sweet dog, and a warm cup of tea. All right, so this fire is very much still burning down the other hardwood, which I like to do. I like to keep my fire constantly refreshed by having part of it burning and part of it be a coal bed. But I've got a nice bed of coals. As you can see right there, burning nice and hot and evenly. So now it's time to actually start cooking. First, I'm gonna get my couscous ready. So that means Fill my pot of water up, that should be plenty. We'll make sure that we burn this pan a little bit since Goose just licked it. We don't want to have dog saliva on our eggs when we cook those up. And sometimes I, I like to get the Goose Goose with flavor packets because, well, flavor's great. So I've got toasted pine nut flavor. So pour that in there. 
toss the packet in the fire. Stir it up. And this one says to add olive oil, which I do anyway. I add that partially for the calories, partially for the flavor, partially for the texture, all sorts of good reasons. I am a believer in the powers of olive oil. So, got my pot. I'm just gonna stick that hmm, right here. Seems like a good place. Now that pot is gonna be a pain to get out, which is why I always have bandanas. That is gonna be my pot holder, because otherwise, there's no way I'm getting that pot out without burning my hands. So we'll let that water boil. In the meantime, we'll get our eggs cooking. So first, like I said, we're gonna just heat up that pan a bit. I'm just nestling that right on the bed of coals. Again, I'm not gonna be able to get that out with my bare hands. I'm gonna use my cotton bandana as my pot holder. Actually works pretty well, just make sure it's folded very well because you don't want to burn your hands. So, we'll see if this is ready. The old finger flick test. Yep, it's already hot enough. Just making sure that the water sizzles on there. Sure the olive oil goes nicely. I like to have my tea while I make my food. Now let's open up these eggs. There's one. I'll throw the shell in the fire. Gonna let that burn, or rather cook for a while. I'm gonna try not to burn it. See how it's simmering. Very good. You know, cooking outside, a little bit of patient waiting. Hey, goose. And sometimes it's putting your spork in the fire to sanitize it after your dog licks it. That's okay too. All right, that egg is coming along nicely. Luckily, Goose is wary of things that sizzle as powerfully as this egg is a sizzling. Never forget your seasonings. Got some salt and pepper here. We'll pinch of that on top. Beautiful. And now, time to cook egg number two. Now I'll say, if you're gonna actually be cooking up something like say eggs, or even if you're doing like vegetables or anything like that, cast iron is the way to go. I'm not so worried about the pot because it's, it's a thin titanium pot, but it's just boiling water. That's easy. But if you want things to actually cook and not just burn and singe, cast iron is the way to go. Now I'm going to add a little more olive oil to my pan. Stick it right back in the fire. And Couple of tomatoes. Yep. 
Sometimes the oil will catch on fire. Let me just move out of the way of that happening. All right. Our water is done boiling. Get that pot out of the fire. Pour the couscous in. The reason I love this food so much for any sort of camping or backpacking is that all I need to do now is put the lid back on and let it sit for the next five minutes and then it'll be ready. All right, the couscous is done. Got my eggs and tomatoes. Now it's time to serve the whole thing up. Dish it out in my bowl. Not for you, goose. An egg, a tomato, and there I've got my meal. Cooking on a fire is a pretty simple business. It's just a matter of knowing the right tools and the right fire to cook with. That's what I got.